Hey, and welcome to another edition of Cooking Out of Quarantine. I'm Jason, and today we're going to smoke a Boston butt. Guys, I don't know about you, but we're starting to get a little skimpy on the meat at the grocery stores, but I understand that. I grabbed a uh, Boston butt here. I'd almost kill a 90-year-old woman at Piggly Wiggly for it, but that's okay because we're going to cook this today. So what I did was I took it out, and it's about a little bit less than room temperature. What we're going to do is I'm going to slice into this this way just enough to make a meat taco here. And what am I going to do here? I'm going to take some oranges and shove that way down in there. This is the same concept I do with uh, poultry, but I want to keep it moist. So we've got that and it turned out a little bit better than I thought. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in this container like that. I'm going to wash my hands and I'm going to pour rub all over this. Now mostly rub is sugar, salt, and some other stuff. You're not going to find out what's in my rub. I don't care how much money you throw at me. But I'm willing to take offers. So I'm going to wash my hands. We're going to put rub on this. I'm going to throw it in the fridge. And about midnight, I'm going to throw this in the smoker. And it should be ready by about 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. I'm going to flip that over and just like that. This is the fat side, so we're going to put a little bit on there with my camera assistant. It's now 5 o'clock, about 11 o'clock tonight. I will take it out. We'll throw it on the smoker after it's been warming up for about an hour. And we'll smoke the hell out of this like a cheap cigar. See you soon. Hey, so this is just going to be full of bonuses. I'm doing coleslaw because I'm doing a pulled pork outside. Right now that thing's been on for at least 18 hours and it's still rolling. It's nice and soft and juicy and we'll, we'll get to it pretty quick. But anyway, you know, Guy Fieri, he doesn't like Eggs over easy, dippy eggs, whatever. I don't like those either. I also don't like mayonnaise. Joan Nolte, I am going to put your recipe of coleslaw on later on this week. I'll do it just for you. But what I'm going to do is a uh, kind of my take on uh, Primanti Brothers coleslaw. Now, I realize I probably lost half of my classmates going, oh my God, you can't, you can't, you can't do this. You're not from the Berg. Well, and they wouldn't say the Berg. They'd say exactly where they're from, like Newcastle, Butler, East Brady, um, Verona. So what I, what I did was I found the copycat in here and I've got shredded cabbage and some onion in here and I'm going to add about a 
half a teaspoon of salt. Um, about a teaspoon of Dijon or um, celery seed. I have no idea what this does, but that's what it calls for. And I got it, so a little bit of that, a little bit of that. And, uh, I, you know, I really don't like putting sugar in everything. So I got some local honey. Actually, the guy lives like a mile away from me. Um, he's got a really neat setup. I'm going to stop by one of these days. But I'm going to put some honey in here. That looks good. Now, how many of us kids remember this was sophistication? Pardon me. Do you have any Grey Poupon? I do. And it calls for a little bit of this stuff. So I'm going to put that in there. Just like that. Now, calls for a half a cup of uh, canola oil. I don't have that, so we're going to use a little olive oil. And boom. Pour that in there. Okay. And it says a cup of white wine vinegar. I don't have that either. This is cooking out of quarantine. We make do with what we've got. So I got some rice wine vinegar. I'm going to use that. I'm also going to add a smidgen of balsamic vinegar. Did it call for it? No, but I like this stuff. And it gives it a nice little bite. So, got that. Pour that in there, just a smidge. I'll mix this up, throw it in the fridge, and when we get our pulled pork, I'll put it right with the side. I'll be back soon. Have a good time. Okay, so... This thing's been on for 20 hours. I kid you not. <laughs> no exaggeration. So I've got my high temperature gloves on. I'm going to show you how I shred this stuff. Everybody buys a shred kit. You know, I've got those um, big old claws and crap like that. I don't do that. All right, so what I've done is I've taken the pork shoulder, Boston butt, whatever the hell you want to call it. I don't even know what it officially was called. But uh, you want to take this big bone out. And I've got my high temperature gloves on. I've learned. Trust me, I've burned the hell out of my hands trying to do this before. So you take that this big bone out. Don't feed this to your dogs. It's pork. Don't feed this to your dogs. So you go through there and see I've I put some oranges in there to mess with the moisture. So we gotta pull those out too. Thank God I got my Frankenstein gloves on. Oh look. Boy that really doesn't look too appetizing. Now, everybody sits there and they go, "Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this to shred it. I'm gonna use that to shred it. I'm gonna use my hands to shred it. I'm not gonna do any of that crap." Okay, I've got a chop board. I've got all that crap. Best thing I've found is a KitchenAid dough hook, and I'm gonna show you how it's done. Let this shred through. I got a funny story about this stuff. I'll be right back. So I've got my Pittsburgh-based coleslaw here. Basically a Permani Brothers, but 
doctored up by me. I got some pulled pork. You know, it's funny, pulled pork. My buddy Garrett Lauer, everybody's got a Garrett Lauer story. He calls me up, he says, look, I got some friends that are stopping by. Can we stop by? Okay. I said, uh, you know, I'll pick up some food, whatever. I said, do you have one of those pig cooker smoker things? I said, yeah. He said, well, can you do some pulled pork? This is six o'clock Thursday night. They're supposed to be here Friday at like 5.30, 6 o'clock. I said, yeah, 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 I can do it. Well, believe it or not, I put that thing on at nine o'clock at night. And thank goodness, old Smokey came through. I got it done at exactly 5.45. They showed up at six o'clock. So that's my pulled pork and Garrett Lauer story. So if anybody wants to tag themselves in that story, go for it. I'm not going to. So I've got my vinegar-based coleslaw. Sorry, Joan, I'm going to do the mayonnaise stuff later, I promise. And uh, I'm going to grab a little pulled pork here. Give it a shot. I'm not gonna cross contaminate. Aha! It's good, it's crunchy, it's a little sweet. Um, it doesn't have mayonnaise in it, so I'm good. It'd be good on a sandwich if I had some bread. But I don't. So, now, like I said, this stuff had been on here for 20 hours. I put some oranges inside it. I rubbed it with my super secret rub. Let's test this out. doesn't even need sauce. It's smoky, it's moist, the ends are a little dry, but yeah, it's the outside, whatever they call it, bark, whatever. It's pretty good stuff. Happy Mother's Day to my mom and my mother-in-law, Linda. Hope you have a great day. Maybe I'll send you something in the mail. I don't know. Talk to you soon. Remember, be kind, be excellent to each other. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.